be sure to cook. Hi, welcome back to Be Sure to Cook. Today, we're gonna make a salmon salad using these salmons. These cute little salmons are, I've got these in our regular store and they were frozen individually and I'm gonna take this and show you all how to make a salmon salad. So stay tuned, let's do this. Now we're gonna make our salmon. I've got some butter on a spatula and I'm just gonna take that butter and this is margarine and I'm just gonna run this margarine on the bottom of my uh, aluminum foil. So I got a piece of aluminum foil and some margarine, creamy, already creamy, smooth butter. But if you don't have that and you use real butter, that's fine. Just soften it up or get it softened where you can apply it onto your your aluminum foil. So you want to make a good, good uh, cover on here. That's what I do. Okay. So that'll be good enough because we're going to put two pieces of small salmon on here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do, we're going to have, sorry, we got some Mrs. Dash seasoning that I had just poured in my hand. I am going to sprinkle, you know, just put a little bit in your hand and just sprinkle all over your aluminum foil with the butter. You know, I just want to get a nice little covering on it. Make sure you cover it good. Not too much, but just a little bit where it can give a little flavor when this heats up. All right. You know, I just, I just know how to measure really good. <laughs> because uh, I've been cooking for years, so I'm always, I just know exactly how much to put on it because I do it so much. The next little bit in my hand is gonna be the lemon pepper seasoning. You know, get a really good, you want a little bit of this because lemon pepper and lemon is really, you know, strong. And it really goes great with fish. It really does. And since we're doing a salmon on here, we're just gonna sprinkle this. Hope you all can see this. Just sprinkle a little bit of this on here. You know, to cover this up a good, you know. Okay. We're gonna do a little bit of this with the seasoned salt. Same thing, but you wanna be very, very careful with this because salt could be somebody's worst enemy. So, you just, a little, cause I mean, salt goes a long way. So that, that was just really little. Then we've got dry dill. So we're gonna add a little of the dry dill on here. Dill's good. And you wanna be careful with dill too because dill can be very strong. But I, I like cooking with all kind of different seasons. And some things you'll be like, dill? You know, they, you don't know what type of seasons to put in stuff, but it comes out great. Now we're gonna get our fish. Okay, then we got our salmon. See, these are small pieces. I got this in the store. This was in your regular grocery store, but this was in a big bag. And here's the other piece. And, he, and I'm gonna put skin side down on both. And then I got some little flakes here. I'm just gonna put on top of there. You know, extra. Let me wash my hands up. Now, since I'm gonna be making a salmon salad, I want this salmon to be very seasonable. That's what you want. So the same thing that I did on the back of this uh, aluminum foil, we're gonna do on this fish. And we're gonna sprinkle. So, I'm using a half, I mean one, one fourth teaspoon of Mrs. Dash blend. And I'm just gonna sprinkle just a little bit on, but I'm using a, you know, this one fourth. And it's pretty much probably gonna be one fourth for every seasoning, because I just wanna sprinkle. I just want a little flavor. And I'm not gonna use the whole one for it. So just sprinkle a little bit. Or you can do the hand thing like I told you to do. So do uh, sprinkles. You know, sprinkle on, on all. Lemon pepper goes the same way. Just sprinkle. Cause you don't wanna, lemon pepper you're gonna have to be really careful. So you just wanna do pinches 
of pinches of lemon pepper because you know but you want that flavor because these are very small little pieces of fish and I got it in a big bag and I thought they were I was like oh these are cute because you know you can get these little chopped up and they were frozen in the frozen now and I thought this would be great because you don't have to cook a big whole piece of salmon sometimes you walk in the store and you see the big long piece of salmon out or sometimes they cut them but it just be too much for you if one person these are individual cut and you can just uh, get these and you can do one or two two people three people and everybody gets their own individual portion size that's what I liked about it I'm doing the dill now just to sprinkle a little dill on here just a little because dill goes a long way just a little on you know and you probably want to do a pinch now, the big thing, I'm going to do a teaspoon of that butter, the same butter, but what I'm going to do is the teaspoon, I'm going to, have, since these are small, I'm going to half that butter. The whole teaspoon, I'm going to take my hand and do one little, for this is a whole teaspoon, if you can see it, see one teaspoon, and then I'm just going to, because I don't want a lot. And I'm gonna put these in the oven on a 350 degrees. And you don't have to do that. You can just spread this. See, you know, spread it. You can spread it too if you want, which would be great to do that so you can get it all over. And this butter, the only reason why I'm putting this butter on here, because guess what, guys? It keeps it moist. It keeps your fish very moist. Since these are little, you want about 15 minutes, but you wanna check it. It might not be the whole 15 minutes, guys. It could be more like 10 or maybe uh, about 10 minutes. No more than 10, 10 to 15 minutes, but you want to check them. Now, I did a fish not too long ago, and um, I showed you how to fold it. I know my hands are still dirty there, and it's freaking me out because my hands are dirty, and all I want to do is wash them, but I want to go ahead and get this out. And I, you want to take it, and you want to crumble it up like a little package. You know, you want to fold it up like so, like a little package. Then you want to go towards the ends, see, towards the ends, and you want to crumple it up, crumple it up the ends towards the, you know, towards where the fish is. And you want to do that, why you want to do that, you want to open that up a little bit, and you want to, just enough where you can see it. And you want to put this on a sheet for 350 degrees for about 15 to 10 minutes. Check often. And I place these on a baking sheet with the aluminum foil package on them. And let's stick these in the oven, 350 degrees, like I said, for 10 to 15 minutes, constantly watching, making sure your fish is cooked. You don't want to overcook this. And to fill on it, I'm going to show you something right quick. This is raw. So when you fill it, take your finger and poke down on it. And when you, you know your fish is almost done, you'll kind of poke on it and you'll you'll feel it It won't spring back it'll be like tight but you don't want to overcook it so that's why I said about 10 to 15 minutes so if you feel like 10 minutes is still kind of like not done to you give it another five minutes take it out because it's gonna still cook okay let's pop these babies in hey guys today we're gonna be doing that salmon salad and I'm chopping up or cutting up some some green leaf lettuce. I got that, and I just said it'd be this would be great inside of a salad. So I'm gonna chop this up. I took out some leaves, and I'm gonna rinse this really good. So I'm gonna take off these back parts. I just don't like the back parts. I don't like them at all. I hate to get that in the middle. I mean that's just me, but if you all like it, just chop it all up together. And get to going so I'm gonna chop this lettuce the back parts up that's just a plain back part I just take off this leaf here cut this up here yeah take that off and we're gonna make this wonderful salmon salad okay I have uh, put that salmon into the oven it's cooking and I have gotten getting ready to take that salmon out it's about it's been about 15 to 10 minutes and we're gonna ready to look at it 
but I've got my lettuce over here that I'm going to chop. But let's look at this salad. Okay, here, here we go. We're going to open this up. I opened it up a little bit earlier. And look at all that. Now, this white here, this is not butter. This is the fat. Mmm, so good. This is all fat. See, it's not butter. Look at that. That is the flavor of salmon. And when you cook salmon, you never cooked salmon before, I'm going to tell you something. If you ever had a can of salmon, you might see this around the can. But this is fresh salmon. It's going to cook just like the canned salmon because canned salmon is fresh salmon. They just put it raw in a can and they steam it. This is fresh salmon. It has the butter. Now, this is the butter. The butter and the juice of the salmon. You know, this is it right here. But this is the salmon and this is the fat of the salmon. And which this is good. This is good fat. It won't hurt you at all. This is what everybody needs. Especially women because we get our omega-3s out of this. But this is nice good fish. We're going to show you how to finish this salad. So stay tuned. Okay, I have washed my leaf lettuce. I've got my salmon prepared and ready to go to fix this. So this is setting back on the stove, not being nice and warm, and I make sure I wrap that up so that can keep staying warm. This is a shallot. I'm going to use a shallot today, and I'm gonna cut it, because a shallot is like an onion. So I'm gonna cut this, and I'm going to peel this onion. You know, uh, I always take it and like score my my onion or my knife and peel this off. This is the way I do it. I mean, I never like the first lever. I mean, the first, you know, the first one anyway. I just peel that lever off. I said lever, but I meant lever. Sorry, I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna discard this. That's what a shallot looks like. This is what it looks like. It smells good, it smells like onion. Okay, so. I'm going to do it the same way that I always do my onions. I'm just going to, I need a couple of slices of this. It's a little bitty onion. Ooh, nice. Purple inside, my favorite. And I'm just going to chop this. You know, like I told you, in half all the time. And it still gives you little, nice little block pieces. See? But guess what, guys? Today, I don't want no block pieces. Today, I want mixed pieces. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put this in my little food processor today. Because it's a lot of things that I'm gonna be chopping up and putting into this food processor to get it nice and creamy. So I'm gonna chop this up a little and put this in my food processor. And I'm not chopping up fancy. I'm just gonna chop it up in my food processor and put more stuff in there. I got my bowl and I got an egg. I'm gonna crack my egg. Oops, wrong bowl. This is my other. And I am going to scar that egg. And I'm gonna make sure I get all of the whites out of here and I got one single egg yolk. Okay, now I've got, let me see how much is. These are the shallots that I have and let me measure these out. I got about a whole tablespoon, you might as well say this is a tablespoon of shallots. Tablespoons of shallots. And you know what I'm going to do with this? I'm going to see if I can mix this up. Wrong way. Hey, y'all can really tell I don't use this a lot. Let's see. I'm going to mix up these shallots. Okay. I'm doing one whole egg yolk. 
Oh, I didn't get my oops dropping things. Okay, <laughs> I didn't get my spatula. You know, I'm greedy. I want all of that. Okay, so I put my shallots in there. I put my whole one egg yolk in there. And then, you know what? I think I'm gonna do one fourth teaspoon. I've got some lemon juice here. I'm gonna add, cause that's gonna cook it. So I'm doing a whole fourth teaspoon of lemon juice. See that? Then I'm going to add some Dijon mustard. So I gotta open up my Dijon mustard. Fourth tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Okay. Then I'm going to use that's about a fourth tablespoon of Mrs. Dash blend. Okay. Then I'm going to kick this baby up with some olive oil. So I'm going to oh, let, let me see. I uh, forgot guys. I'm going to add about two tablespoons. Let's start off with two tablespoons of olive oil. If we need any more, we'll start doing it. Let's blend this baby up. I'm going to mix this baby up. Uh, to let you all know, all the ingredients will be at the bottom of your page. You know, if I had said I misspoke or something. So just look at the bottom of your page for every recipe. It'll be a correct recipe there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this baby on and I'm gonna see what I get. I'm not gonna mix all these ingredients up. Chop it up everything because this is gonna be our dressing for our our salmon salad. And then I've got some red wine vinegar. I'm just gonna add about a teaspoon of red wine vinegar inside here. And I'm going to blend this. Sorry, and adding black cracked pepper. Ugh. And I'm gonna add a little honey in a minute. I'm gonna blend this up first. We adding a whole tablespoon of honey. Maybe two tablespoons of honey. And we're gonna mix this up again. Okay guys, I'm cutting up some tomatoes and I'm going to dice these tomatoes for my salad. Okay. Cut these in blocks. I want these tomatoes to, you know, you can taste a little tomato. You know, and you can cut up your tomatoes any way you want. If you like them bigger or you like the little round ball tomatoes, that would be nice. You know, however you want your salad. I usually cut up tomatoes and I, I kind of rinse these off. And I'm going to sprinkle them in my salad and I'm going to cut up my, uh, I'm going to show you my salmon and I'm going to cut up my salmon. We're going to plate this up. Okay. These are the tomatoes that I had diced and rinsed up. And I have rinsed these and I had uh, drained these, so these are ready to go. And here is my salmon. And I'm going to take this salmon and I'm going to just, you know, slice this salmon, doing the other. And you can 
Do it any way you feel comfortable with. I'm just going to take these and put these back over here into the juice. I'm gonna clean up this board. And when you come back, because I want all this flavor, see that flavor? All that juice is gonna suck, soak up into that, these flakes of salmon. Look at that, that is delicious. And I'm gonna show you how to plate this salad. Okay, this is the avocado. And then, sometimes the seeds just come straight on out. So there, I'm going to cut it again in half. I wash my hands and my hands are really wet. So I'm just gonna dig these out and I'm gonna plate. Okay, we got our bowl, we got our greens. We're gonna add a little of our greens inside of our bowl. Then we're gonna add a little of our tomatoes. Just a little of them. Then we're gonna add, well, no, I'm not. I'm gonna add, this is the dressing. I'm gonna drizzle a little dressing that we made earlier over. You can put as much as dressing and you can make as much as you want. You know, just double what I had, I guess. Everything will be on the bottom of your screen. We'll have this wonderful Simon plated. For you all. Let's put some pieces of Simon in here. This is our wonderful Simon salad. Okay, we we'll make sure we're gonna get some salmon. And then, some avocado that we have cut up earlier inside there. And then we're gonna sprinkle a little bit more with our sauce on it. And this is our salmon salad. Well, there you go. This is my salmon salad. And I made it all by hand and you was with me. Hey guys, I wanna thank you once again for coming and looking at our show. Please come back again and enjoy what I'm cooking. You cook these dishes just as well as I cook these dishes. You will enjoy these dishes. And like I said, uh, everything will be on the bottom of your screen, all the recipes. Just follow the bottom of your screen and your recipes. Hey, I want you to come back. Please like, share our video. And I tell you what, next week, it'll be a whole different time to cook. I love you all guys, y'all come back. Hey, take it easy. Bye.